Hi folks, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. This might not look like much, and it kind of is and kind of isn't. It's been sold out forever and just recently got restocked. It is a PC mode USB for the Atari VCS console that lets you run your Atari like a computer. Now, you don't need the proprietary USB that's sold by Atari, but I wanted theirs anyway, as opposed to doing a custom installation. I thought I would run their installation. We're going to put this 64 gigabyte USB into my Atari up here, and then we're going to see what we can do with it. So stay tuned. Check for updates. You are up to date. All right. So, I think all we have to do now is just plug this USB in. Well, it's showing it. Kingston Data Traveler. I wonder if I have to restart with it plugged in. I suspect I might. Let's try that. So we'll select English. Typing English. If you see a long cord dangling in front of the screen, it's because I have to keep switching back and forth between keyboard and mouse, so I just plugged in an extension cord for the USB. It's kind of a dumb solution, but since I don't have a hub, one needs to do what one must. Let's set the time zone. I gotta switch back to the keyboard again. Keep having to take one dongle out and put one dongle in. All right, switch back. skip. Let's skip that step. Oh, I gotta switch again. When you switch to desktop mode on Steam Deck, you've immediately got stuff you can do. Maybe this build of Linux isn't like that. Gotta be some way to Get it to do something. here. I'm going to have to stop filming for a minute and look this up. Okay, this is weird. I didn't do anything other than reboot the Atari and go through the installation again, but now all of a sudden I actually have a dock and a taskbar on the side. I don't know what changed between the last time I did it and this time I did it, but it's here now. I can at least say it works, but until I get a hub, this 
is not going to do it for me. I don't want to keep jumping back and forth between a mouse and a keyboard when I'm trying to actually set up anything on this, so... It was at this point that I realized I was being foolish by trying to use all of the USB ports on the back. I used one for the mouse, and then I connected a Bluetooth wireless keyboard, and suddenly, with mouse and keyboard, the world was my oyster, so I went ahead to the software tab of the Debian setup and searched MGBA, and once I had that launched, I went and got a ROM. Let's just say it's my backup of my personal copy of Aria of Sorrow, which I do own complete in box. So you can assume that I dumped that ROM and I'm playing my own personal backup here. And I don't have my save file from that cartridge, but I'm willing to start fresh. And as you can see, because... I'm also using a PlayStation 5 DualSense Bluetooth controller. I don't have to use the standard Atari wireless controller that they sold with the VCS, which is just as well because for whatever reason, the Debian build of Linux running on their USB was not detecting their own controller. I find that extremely strange. I could pair it with an Xbox One controller, I could pair it with a PS5 DualSense controller, but I couldn't pair it with their own Atari brand controller. I don't know what that's about. I even tried downloading some software that was like a Bluetooth manager, a device manager, and it wasn't doing any better than the Bluetooth panel in the system settings of Debian, so I just gave up on it. The DualSense controller is extremely comfortable to use anyway, so... I see no reason not to go with it for this setup. And I can say that now the Atari VCS can basically function like an emulator box. It's obviously a little more expensive than you would want to pay for an emulator box. And I don't know that it can really do that much more than my Miu Mini Plus or my Retroid Pocket 2S. But at least you have the option now. You're not locked into the Atari e-commerce system. You don't have to buy games from their store. You can run Linux games, or you can run emulators, or you can run anything you want on the PC side of things. And it's actually incredibly nice that Atari left their system open to be used in Linux, considering how other companies, which won't be named, used to have Linux distributions, and then remove them and lock down their systems. So, I think in this case at least, Atari is more progressive than some of their counterparts, and I commend them for that. And I look forward to seeing what all can be emulated well with the chipset that comes with this system. But for now, it's, it's good.